Catus Maximus here, this time with a uh, review of the Harbor Freight Zurich ZR13. This is the premium universal code reader. It's a pretty expensive code reader, uh, but I think it's uh, pretty well worth it. It apparently is a rebranded or actually remanufactured Innova. Because Innova doesn't actually have a case like this. Um, but this is basically uh, who did make this. It's kind of a... It has most, almost all the features. What's interesting is I've opened it up. And there's actually a Bluetooth wireless controller on the board. and uh, But it doesn't actually have the Bluetooth option on this. So, but the Innovas do. So that's kind of interesting. What the big selling point is, is this is a universal. So it'll do... Uh, it has a database from... 1996 through 2016, so 20 years of cars and 48 brands. And it does emissions and drivetrain, charging system, ABS and airbag, uh, all in one unit. Note that not all vehicles um, support all ABS and airbag diagnostics through the OBD2 port. Uh, I know in some Subarus, uh, there's a separate port that you have to use when you want to diagno diagnose the ABS system. So that's of note. But if you have like a, G a General Motors vehicle, then yeah, it'll totally do everything. It's uh, pretty ergonomic. The one comment I would make is they only use two screws here and two inside the battery cover. And if you can see, come on, focus. The case kind of flexes a bit. Uh, I wouldn't drop this too much is what I'm saying. And quite frankly, uh, if you do have issues, then you can put some zip ties around the waist here. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't. It has a rubberized coating, but to tell you the truth, I don't think it's that impact resistant. It does use a standard 25-pin uh, serial or parallel port type port. So you can get extension cables for this if you'd like. Just a second here and we'll turn it on. It has a lighted connector. We'll turn it on. It uses three AA batteries. There it is. Here's the lighted OBD2 connector. I wish they would have put LEDs on both sides, but it's still pretty innovative. Uh, the light always stays on when the unit's on. So, uh, and there were some posts, or maybe it was a review, uh, the manual isn't very clear, but um, it's all in the menus, all the help is. So it has a, a locator, so for its entire database of 20 years of cars, you can find the, uh, excuse me, you can find the OBD2 connector. Um, and it'll just show like a general stick figure image of the dash and like a blinking black dot. Um, you have this, so you have your tool icons, which is like pages. So this tells you what the green lights are at the top of the menu and the other icons. Um, uh, the LED definitions for your uh, emissions. Uh, and down here in tool settings... Uh, is where the help for the keys. It's interesting that the, the help for the keys is a scroll, but all the other menus are done by pages. Um, English, Spanish, and French. And on the box it only says English and Spanish, but it does actually have French. Uh, I th yeah, language. See, it does do French. So three languages. So unadvertised feature. You can turn off the beeper, which uh, really is annoying. Uh, I don't have a video of it running on a vehicle right now, but um, I have tested it on a couple, and it works great. It's like a 320 by 240 screen. It does real-time or live graphing. So I think it's a pretty useful and well-worth tool. And when you hit the power button, it always says, wait a moment, and then it shuts down. So anyway... That was just a quick review. Uh, saw a couple reviews of the lower model, but this is just the one with the ABS and um, a quick guide on how to find 
um, the help menus for various things. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Cast Maximus out.